Today I'll be going over niche websites and I'll be also giving you a bunch of different examples of different niche websites that you can use for your own inspiration and just to get an idea of what a niche website looks like. So to get started, I've currently been working on this niche website right here, brickpop.com. So this is focused on Montessori's toys, STEM toys, educational toys, child development. So that's basically my entire niche. Now I can always expand to other toys as well, but let's come back over here and let's go over what is a niche website. So a niche website is a website focused on a specific and narrow topic. So I'll go over a few examples and show you differences between large niches and small niches. And if you are a one person that wants to create a niche website, you want to be focused on a small niche because you can always expand in the future if you find a lot of success from that small niche. The main reason that niche websites work is because they're able to create content for a very targeted audience. So whereas somebody may do electronic reviews and they write about the 10 best laptops, somebody else may say, here are the 10 best gaming laptops that are over $2,500. So somebody who's looking for one of the best gaming laptops can have an understanding of, okay, this person is an expert in this topic. They've tested these laptops. So that's why I trust this person more than somebody who just does general electronic reviews. So let's go over a few different examples of large niches versus small niches. First and foremost, large niches on the left. Recipes, pet supplies, fitness, golf, gardening, home decor, and electronics. So golf you could almost put in the small niche section, but there's so much involved with golf that if you are looking at smaller niches, these are basically subsets of the niches over here. Grilling recipes, dog grooming, running, golf training, indoor plants, beach decor, and laptops. So let's go over a few more examples over here. And one of the best examples I like to look at is Dick's Sporting Goods. So you can make the argument that Dick's Sporting Goods focuses on their niche is sporting goods. However, they have so many different categories on their website from apparel to shoes to exercise and wellness gear, outdoor gear, all sorts of different products that they sell. So when you're looking at what is a niche versus what is something that is way too large of a niche, if you just click on outdoor here on Dick's Sporting Goods, It'll bring you to this page where they have all of these, which I would consider more of a niche. Now, if you look at camping and hiking and you're saying, okay, I'm going to create a camping website. What you may want to start with is let's just focus on camping and sleeping in shelter. So therefore, we could just focus on tents and accessories, sleeping bags and bedding, and canopies, shelters, and accessories. So basically, just making sure your campsite is more comfortable for when you actually go to sleep. So you could do all sorts of different tent reviews, sleeping bag reviews, bedding reviews related to camping, sleeping bags, camping, bedding for people who may be in hot weather, for people who may be in cold weather, canopies, shelters to make sure you protect yourself from rain and basically all the outdoor elements. So that would be a good starting point. And what you can always do is expand as you go. So if you write all the best possible blog posts about different types of tents, you add tents to your uh, website that people can actually purchase from, you write all sorts of different blog posts about sleeping bags, the best sleeping bags for 2023, best sleeping bags for 2024, you keep everything updated, you may say, okay, well, now I'm ready to expand this, start adding backpacks to your website, start adding hiking apparel to your website, camping and kitchen products to your website. So you can always expand if you start with a smaller niche. It can be really difficult to start with a niche that is way too large. For example, some people may want to do something like, let's start a recipe website. So if we come in here to allrecipes.com, this website's been around forever. You could see if you just come over here to dinners, we have a ton of different options under dinners. For meals, you have all of these different options under meals, ingredients, occasions, cuisines. So basically every cuisine here would be considered more of a niche website. So if you create a website about the best Indian recipes and you keep up with all of the best Indian recipes, you're writing your own custom recipes, that website is going to be easier to manage than allrecipes.com. So the other example here is if you look at meals and we just click on drinks, for example, and we open up drinks right here. So if you create a website that's just about drink recipes, that website is going to be easier to manage and more likely to be successful than somebody who's going to say, I'm going to create the next all recipes by myself. Behind all recipes is a bunch of people that are posting their own recipes to the website. They have a massive team of people that are working on this website. So if you are a solo person who wants to create your own niche website, start with something much smaller, for example, like a brickpop.com. Now, if you have no clue where to get started with building your niche website, I actually have a membership section on my PPC, Surfside PPC YouTube channel. If you go to surfsidepppc.com slash membership, it will bring you directly to this page and you can join my channel for $2.99 a month. The moment you join, you get access to 15 different videos 
hours and hours of content showing you drop shipping, showing you content marketing, showing you different things as far as search engine optimization. I answer member questions for you. Scrolling all the way down here, I also have my no ads Amazon affiliate marketing course. So you also get ad free videos. Well, every video in my membership section is ad free, but you will get ad free videos for my main channel. And you get my niche website course here, which is going to be updated soon to include over 10 hours of content. So if you want to learn how to build a successful niche website, this is where you want to start. And I'm going to show you how I'm building brickpop.com through there. I'm going to have hundreds and hundreds of videos added over the next year. So make sure you join that if you are interested. Now, 10 different examples of niche websites to kind of round out this video. First thing, digitalcameraworld.com. So if you scroll down here, you can see basically they're all focused on cameras. Now, it could be all sorts of different types of cameras. It doesn't just have to be, you know, your standard digital camera. They also talk about different type of drone cameras, things like that. So digitalcameraworld.com focused on cameras, videos, pictures, things like that. Next is irunfar.com. So this website is focused on trail running, marathon running, but they also put together these really good buyer's guides. So if you want to build a successful niche website, these buyer guides are one of the best things you could possibly do. Best running hats, best running headlamps, best running belts, basically all these different gears related to running. Now bringing ourselves back over to Dick's Sporting Goods over here, if you were to choose instead of running, you're, you choose fitness or something along like those lines, just look at how many different things you can write about related to running. So Choosing a niche, it makes it much easier to kind of actually say, okay, let's just focus on things that will help people who are running. And that's really going to be the best way to focus on your website and really grow your website and build an audience of people that are interested in running. So the next example over here is hittingsolid.com. So this is a golf training website that shows you how to hit the golf ball better. Next one, homefortheharvest.com. So a website all about gardening, flower gardening, vegetable gardening, fruit garden, indoor plants. This is actually a really impressive website. And you could learn basically everything from how to grow your own garden to specific types of garden uh, products and things like that. Fishkeepingworld.com. So all about different types of fish and aquariums and things along those lines. Freshwater fish, saltwater fish, aquariums, care and breeding. But this is still a niche website based on fish and basically fish that you would have in your home or probably out in a pond. So next is dogfoodadvisor.com. This website just basically writes reviews about dog food. So very simple website, but this is one of my favorite niches because people who find dog food that they like, they may constantly come back to dog food advisor to purchase more of that dog food. So if they say, okay, we like this dog food XYZ, we're going to go to dog food advisor and we're going to give you the best price at dogfoodadvisor.com. So choosing a niche that people constantly need to purchase things because your dog is going to constantly be eating food, this is another great niche. And it's also a great niche because dog ownership has only increased over the last few years. Mamainastitch.com. So this is about knitting, crocheting. So you see free knitting patterns, free crochet patterns, home, blog. Very, uh, very good niche for very popular niche because there's always people that are when you're home, you're looking for, okay, let's look up some knitting patterns, some crochet patterns that we can do. Next is going to be mixologycrew.com. So back to our drink website from allrecipes.com. Looking at mixologycrew.com, it's all about just learning mixology, different types of recipes. So this is about creating cocktails. So it's really that simple. This is the niche, and there's plenty of people that want experts at creating cocktails to understand the secrets of creating a great cocktail. Next one, back to our tent example or our camping example again, lifeintents.com. So they actually have a shop where they sell all sorts of different tents. So if we scroll down here, very focused on everything that has to do with tents here. But even over here, you could see they started adding some different camp gear here, different camp furniture. But basically, their main focus is tents. When you scroll down, you're going to see all sorts of different information about some of the best tents that you can use when you're camping. Next is going to be a website I own. So farmhousegoals.com. This website is about farmhouse decor, farmhouse furniture. It's an Amazon affiliate marketing website. You can learn how to make a website like this by joining my membership program. But this is just basically everything is related to farmhouse decoration. So my whole goal is to target farmhouse keywords, get people to my website who have a, a home that has a farmhouse theme with the goal of getting them to purchase more from me. So those are 10 different examples of niche websites. We went over a few different examples beyond that as well. So coming back over here to round off the video, if you want to create a niche website, 
focus on these smaller niches because these large niches require a ton of resources, a ton of people, a ton of money to actually build out a full comprehensive helpful website. If you're saying, okay, I can write one blog post per day. I can, I can write one great blog post every single day. You're better off writing that one great blog post every single day about running or indoor plants or laptops or beach decor or grilling recipes, then you are saying, okay, I'm going to write one great recipe every day. It's going to be a random recipe. One day it might be Italian recipes. One day it might be Indian recipes. One day it might be drink recipes that, you know, related to cocktails. You're better off focusing on these smaller niches because then what you're going to do is become basically an authority in that topic. And when you're writing these blog posts, and let's just say you write 100, 200, 300 blog posts, your goal as a niche website creator is to get over that 100 mark and then just continuously, continuously publish and then keep your old content updated. Now, let's just say you have 300 total blog posts on your website. It's much easier to take that existing content and say, you know what, let's start making more videos. Let's go back and update these old blog posts. And if you have grilling recipes, for example, and you have 300 great grilling recipes on your website, SEO optimized pages, you start adding videos to each individual page about the grilling recipes, you build a YouTube channel, it's much easier to focus on that niche. And then, I mean, I know my dad, for example, listens to grilling podcasts. So there are people out there that are looking for these specific types of information, and you can easily monetize it with a website, and then take that website and repurpose it into a YouTube channel, into other social media channels, an email list, a podcast, whatever it may be that your customers are interested in. So Focus on a small niche, focus on creating as much content as possible and then building that audience and then monetizing, monetizing that audience as you continue to build it. So thank you for watching my video today. This is basically what is a niche with 10 different examples of niches that you can go through. I'm currently working on a blog post. So I have 75 total niches here and under each one are basically sub niches within them. So again, health and supplements, maybe you want to do that, but you'd probably be better off saying, let's just focus on the best protein powders and pre-workouts. So you can combine multiple of these, but what you really want to do is you really want to be focused on something specific so that you can build an audience off that specific thing and hopefully monetize that audience over time. So if you have any questions about any of this, please leave them in the comment section. Thank you for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.